Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to assess the call logs of your Android devices. So let's get started. So I'm going to use my package that is called a React Native call log. So it has weekly download. So somebody used uh, like uh, less down, it's not too much less download. So we can use this one, right? So let's set up this project, this one in, in our project. So let's copy this and we're going to add in our project. So here we go with this one. So let's paste this React Native call log. Okay, after installation, let's move into the next processor that we have Android settings.gradle. So I'm going to add this in our project, copy this one. So go to your, uh, where is your Android? I think I have already opened settings.gradle. So I'm going to add over here, view, board wrap. Okay, so here we go with adding this one remove this one plus project and react native call log okay save this moving to the next part that we have this we don't require it and then we have this one package that is we need to import this one add this in your main activity dot java main activity or main application it's i think main application dot java we have already opened main application dot java okay add this package call logs and then we have this new call log package copy this okay here we go with this one add this package save this try to make it build android studio let me add my code also uh, here we go with this one this is the code for getting the your call logs so let me copy this one you can also add this one full Okay, and go with this one and let's comment to this one part okay let's add this save this there is error on terminated string okay on terminated string here we go save this okay and where is android studio i think building is done let's install this build so build is installing okay and here we go with this one you can see that after using this one you need to just uh, oh sorry i forget to add the permissions i need to go with the permissions also here we go with permissions android.manifest which i haven't added this one read call log so let's go to the android.manifest okay open this add this permissions which is missing from my side add this then we need to i need to again rebuild this one so we uh, read this installation can we close this dominate and let's build it terminate Stop launching the app. So installation to succeed. Let's check the second one.
how much time it will take I don't know so let's uh, run the run our build if it is not working from here so we can install build via terminal we can go with the terminal now In npx react native build install so here we go with the terminal let's add this one Let's understand the function in the meanwhile. So we have we need to in component data mount they have used async function and grant the call logs. If it is, then it will call logs load five. Then they have load the five uh, five one. If you want to anything, you can uh, pass this number. And I think this is that's it for here. And whatever it's, is it install the build? Not yet. Let's see. So we are just fetching the data. Call logs three. Okay. You can see that same thing we have done. And let's see it is installing the build or not. Where we are. It is installing the build. It's also finished at that moment. So there is an error. Let's make a build of from here. Okay, target device is not found. Okay. Now target device is there. Okay, that's the reason. So it's currently installing the build. So it's opening and is there any risk? Uh, let's see where it we are reload this it says react native uh, CLI log exios app dot GS trying to resolve the module uh, successfully found this package itself itself main that could not be resolved Where, where this package doesn't resolve this let me check this one okay so here we go with this one so here we gone with the so let me refresh this one part okay so let me run uh, this one refresh cache sometimes it will show this kind of error because I have already installed this one so reload this reload
and we are successfully hitting this one the call logs so you can see that allow x used to make the call logs and manage call logs allow so you can see that the coming calls and all everything let's three we have already added this one right so you can see that okay so this is how we can get the call logs in the react native so any query any issue in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video and subscribe my channel